Hi, Hi. We're, we're the Psychic, Psychic Twins. Twins. I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. And guess what, guys? We have half a million subscribers. <laughs> we're so happy. Thanks, you guys, for all your amazing support. And thanks to Shane, of course, and for helping Shane us launch Dawson. the channel. We love you, Shane. So today we're going to do our monthly Q&A. We, we try to do it every, like, four to six weeks. Uh, we wish we could read everyone. Absolutely wish we could. You know, thank you. We love your videos and your questions and today we're going to start with Raina Lynn. Hi Psychic Twins, uh, I'm a huge fan. My name's Raina. I have a really uh, important question for you guys. Uh, my sister Bree, she's 20 years old, she had a boyfriend of 30 years old and he just uh, passed away two days ago and uh, she's taking it really hard obviously. They were planning on moving out together, getting married, having kids, all that kind of stuff and so she's not doing so well and all she wants to know is how he is. It happened very suddenly. If you could please like tell her like how he is, if, if, if there's some sort of afterlife or anything, like if uh, he misses her, if he still loves her, all that kind of stuff, because she just really needs some reassurance right now. She needs to know that he's okay. We really feel that he's coming in so strongly around both of you, especially your sister and Absolutely. With so much sadness and, and really appreciation to her. He's saying that she was a real life in his life and I feel that he is coming in around her you know the soul survives death we believe well, we uh, believe in, we're mediums, we're psychic mediums, which means we believe that we can communicate with those who have passed over. And we wrote in our second book, Psychic Intelligence, how you can learn how to recognize signs from loved ones and even communicate with your loved ones. So absolutely tell your sister Bree that, you know, our heart goes out to her, but he is fine. He's absolutely doing well. Yeah. And he did cross over by the way, he's uh, he's around you. And it's like once people die, we believe that, you know, the soul does survive. It's like taking off a suit of clothes. Yeah, it's a continuum. It isn't, physical death isn't the the end. A lot of people think you're, you, you die, you're buried, nobody, you know, you never have another thought again. But actually we believe in the survival of the soul and in an afterlife. And it is like a soul plane, an astral plane, where we all go, even our pets go, to an astral plane which is superimposed right on this plane and so tell her not to worry and he said I will always be coming in around you and, and helping you. yeah you can call on him absolutely and he might visit you in dreams feel like he's going to come in as a bird and you'll see they're saying a white bird so when you see a white bird know that it's him often uh, we'll see butterflies which uh, or hummingbirds which we recognize as our mom a lot, yeah. and uh, she'll also type her initials on the computer when we're typing something so uh, you know it's interesting because spirits will use computers and electronics to communicate with us and sometimes they'll blink lights on and off or TVs or computers will go on and off and that's sometimes their way of letting you know that they're around us because they communicate easily through electricity electronics yeah. and not they don't always come through dreams but right after they pass you'll see your loved ones more in dreams than later on mm -hmm. but you or know, in holidays when yeah. you celebrate it. Christmas holidays, and yeah. Valentine's Day and birthdays they tend to come around more often than if you ask them to uh, so celebrate his life tell Bree to celebrate her boyfriend's life and know that you were a very important part of his life on this planet and he was an important part of yours we send our love to you and your sister and we wish you so much success and happiness we uh, we know you'll find somebody else in the future and you'll have a happy relationship okay good luck our next reading is Kayla and Austin and they call themselves <laughs> Case <Kayston>. and this <laughs> is a real dynamic duo very much okay. so hey, hey psychic, psychic twins. twins I'm Kayla <laughs> and I'm Austin. We really want to know if we were friends in a past life or if we were like, or like we like twins. knew each other in a past life because like, we were literally the same human being. Yeah. So we met on YouTube in what, like September 2015? And we exactly. became like 
I don't know, internet friends. And then just recently, we were actually able to meet because Austin came to Florida to visit me. IRL. It was yeah. amazing. I don't know. We just kind of felt like we were like twins or something in a past life. And then the other thing is, we're both YouTubers, so we want to know if we're going to somehow become Be successful. successful on YouTube. Yeah. We really love your energy, and uh, yeah. we really feel like, you know, you were brothers in a past life. You weren't, you know, you weren't friends and you weren't twins, but you were brothers. You were relatives. Mm -hmm. It was an ancient life, wasn't it? It was, very yeah, ancient life. It was 12th century England. That was in British You Isles. were brothers, and I feel like you were very close in that lifetime. It's very close. And you guys have a great chemistry with each other. I love how you interact uh, in your videos, it's, and you just amazing. have a wonderful. If it does feel full of familial, their their connection is really almost yeah. like you've known each other all your lives, and it's because you have known each other in at least one, maybe even two past lives. So whenever you feel like, oh, maybe we were twins or brothers or sisters, mother daughter, it's often. It's often true that you did have some some kind of deep connection with that person, and, uh, and you were meant to meet each other yeah. and come together. And it, you know, you know that you're almost like a soulmate with that person, yes. or to twin flame. Soulmates are not always romantic connections. More often than not, they're family members or friends. Twins uh, sort of are born. We're born with our soulmate, mm -hmm. um, but not always. Not all twins are very close or yeah. meant to be connected. I don't think you were twins, but. But sometimes it feels that way, yeah, right? That's what I felt that they were not. I think you'll always be friends, you'll always be close. And yeah. isn't that wonderful? You just met on the internet and like a year ago and you're just so simpatico. And yeah, I keep having fun, keep inspiring people because I think you're gonna do really, really well, both of you. Absolutely. Good luck. Okay, and who's our third person? Our third today? person is Danny Delano. Danny! Danny! Hey, Danny boy! Hey. Hi Terry, hi Linda, this is Danny. I'm an actor, uh, I've been doing this for about five, six, seven years now. I have a manager in the city, uh, New York. Right now I'm kind of like stuck in a, I don't know, some weird spot, nothing's really happening. If you got anything, if you want to let me know, if you have any advice or what you see in the next few years, that'd be, be great, you two are the best. You know, we love your energy, we love your interactions with us on Twitter and Facebook, and thank you so much for all your support. Danny, you are so talented as an actor, and yeah, I, you know, we've just it. seen little clips of you, yeah. but you know, it's such a sincere heart, an old soul, yeah. it really comes across. Mm -hmm. You're like a, a mystic yeah. walking the earth, you and yeah. you've chosen acting as your vehicle for bringing light mm -hmm. to the world. And you know what I see Danny doing, like getting a role in theater in a I six to seven months. A dramatic role in theater as well. Don't give up, five, six years isn't all that long to have been an actor, actually a lot of actors hit their real stride when they're in their 40s or 50s. You know, it's it worth it. Time. By the time you hit, you know, yeah. it's all going to be worth it and you'll yeah. see how you needed that time and that process and yeah. all that work leading up to it. Yeah, but a caution, don't get too attached to the result or what you think the picture should look like. We see you teaching. We saw you possibly doing a one-man show. Uh, did you see yeah. a one-man show for him? I saw that. And I think he'd get a good I response to that. I see you writing a yeah. script because I think you're really good as a writer. writer. And I definitely agree mm -hmm. with you that Danny's yes. going to be teaching. You'd be a yeah. great teacher. Amazing. Because you bring so much knowledge and wisdom, even though you've only done it for a short time, really. I think you have wisdom from past lives where you were an actor. You were an actor in France in a past oh. life. So it feels you know, familiar. You were a male, they're saying. And people always wonder why we're circling. Well, what we do to save time so that you're not just watching us, right? We channel in advance of our readings and then just naturally because we're automatic writers we we circle things uh, it's just sort of a shorthand for us when we're taping you could learn more about that on our new website we have a new website that we're launching it's sort of a work in progress it's still a bit under construction but you're gonna love this new website yeah so excited it's, we have a lot <laughs> of things coming of you guys yeah. we have t-shirt um, lines oh my god we have so much new merchandise coming oh yeah we're not gonna tell you much now we're but not gonna tell you yet but coming soon tune in to our to our psychic twin store and make sure that you hit thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we'll, we'll see you in the future, future.